So Wild Frost is a roguelike card game set in a cold and snowy world, recently featured during Nintendo Indie World Showcase, plus it was part of Steam's Next Fest, and Chucklefish were very kind to provide access to the demo outside of this window, so today I'm going to bring my first impressions of Wild Frost. So Wild Frost is a card game set in deep winter. You've got frost and snow everywhere, so it's a roguelike and you've been going through multiple runs and playthroughs of the game. Each run you battle monsters and try to forge a path through them to get to the Sun Temple. Now get to the Sun Temple and the world will defrost and peace will be restored to the land. Well, hopefully anyway. So when you start your first run, you've got to select your leader and a starting pet. Protecting your leader is of utmost importance usually means placing unfortunate others in their way. Leaders are randomly generated and have different skills and stats related to which tribe they came from, plus they influence the starting deck of cards. As you progress through Wild Frost, you're going to unlock new decks from other tribes, and you can also switch things up as well. Melting your way through monsters is no easy task. Enemies are plentiful, and you're going to have to collect friends along the way in forms of other card companions, slowly developing a card deck strong enough to take on the toughest of enemies. As you make your way through the battleground, you can select which path to tread. With different paths giving you cards, loot, and upgrades. It reminded me of the overworld in Super Mario World on the SNES. Although here, once you've gone down a path, there is no going back. As you make your progress and win battles, you can upgrade and customize your cards. This includes hanging charms on your cards to give them an extra edge in battle. Charms enhance card powers and unlock other bonuses as well. You've also got an element of town building to the game, which is very unexpected and enjoyable at the same time. Snowdwell is your home, and you can develop your town, build new shops and vendors, which helps unlock new cards. Also, find new tribes and take part in events, plus you've got daily challenges to take on. Win matches and collect resources to develop Snowdwell, and open up more options to help you in card games. You know, the loop is really, really simple, but it's been implemented in a very charming and effective way. Car battles aren't simple either, it's going to take all your strategic thinking to take on these tough enemies and get into that sun temple. This will mean picking up new cars, customising your deck, including adding elemental combinations and understanding, and using the counter system. Well, the game is being developed by Will Lewis and Gazitta, so Will has previously worked on a roguelike platformer, Cave Blazers, and Gazitta worked on Forager, so they've decided to come together and release Wild Frost. You know, from what I've played so far, it's really, really good fun. I'm really looking forward to the full release. Yeah, the artwork is fantastic and the animations throughout are really, really well done. Yeah, as a fan of looters, you know, like Destiny and Overwatch, I love it when you have to smash the ice and pick up new cards and open the loot crates. The card game looks relatively simple at first, but don't be fooled. This is a tough game as enemies tend to overwhelm your leader quite quickly. You know, it's going to take me a while to get used to the strategy of the game. However, if you're a card game veteran, you may find it much easier than I did. Now, Wild Frost is being developed for Nintendo Switch and PC. Hopefully, it's going to be available on Steam Deck, as I can imagine putting many hours into it over the Christmas holidays, relaxing on the couch playing a few rounds of Wild Frost. Now, if you're interested in the game, check out the Discord to chat with the developers, give at Wild Frost Game a follow on Twitter, or you can join the Wild Frost subreddit. You know, finally, be sure to wishlist the game on Steam to get notified as soon as it drops. Well, the game is being developed by Gazitta and Deadpan Games, published by Chucklefish. It's going to be released on PC and Nintendo Switch, and its intended release date is winter 2022. Well, that was my initial impressions of Wild Frost. I think it's really, really fun. It's got all the charm, animation, audio, and, you know, really, really enjoyable gameplay as well that you'd expect from a Chucklefish published game. So thank you again to Chucklefish for providing that extended demo Really, really enjoyed my time with it and can't wait for the full release. Well, that is it for the moment for Wild Frost. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. Well, if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.